Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about control container and what is the purpose of using control container in Angular. So controller container is a type of service which is used for parent child communication when you are using a different types of reactive forms which are communicating between your parent and child. So let me go to the scenario. So let me create a component that is nothing but a child component. Let me jump onto the new terminal. Let me create a component by using command called as ng generate component and the component name let me use as child component and let me skip the tests so i am skipping these tests so now we have created a child component and let me inject this child component in my app.component.html so let me copy this app child and go to your app.component.html and paste here now this is your parent and this is your child so now let's go up with a proper scenario what i am doing is i want to have some set of form where the parent component should have the basic fields something like name and age or a mobile number and child component should contain address fields something like street number and a street name something like that so let me create that by using a form tag and inside this form tag let me use div and inside the div let me create a input field with a placeholder as name and then let me copy the same thing and paste again now what i'll do is i'll use a phone number and let me copy the same and you are trying to create the address below but i don't want to create that address inside this form i want to maintain in a separate component which can be reused further so let me go to the child component.html and create a div and inside that div let me use a input field where this input field contains address that means a street name and also let me create one more div with a road number something like this two fields road number and now my api call whenever i submit this particular form my api call should be handled in my parent let me go here and i have something called as a button and inside this button i need to have a submit and when the user clicks on this button i need to call some method called as submit and let me create this submit method in my ts file let me go here and create inside my ts file with this submit and let me save all save this save this and also this so now what i'm trying to do is i'll create my form in the parent component and all the details of that form should be handled in my parent but only the component should be separated so that our address component that means a child component can be reused further so let me format this till here all my controls are in the parent level and all the address fields are in my child component let me go to the child component and let me use one separation something like a paragraph where it is indicating address and let me save this and also save this let me go to the browser so now you are having a parent component address and you have two fields and the submit button inside your parent component so let me use a div for this page so that it will be separated and save this now you can see this you got an address the name and the phone number are in my parent component whereas address and the street number is in my address component so let me go here and now what i want to do is i want to create a form so let me go here to the ts file and here let me create a constructor and inside the constructor let me frame the form group so for that i can use anything like form builder or a direct form control or a set of form groups which are like new form group class itself for now we'll use form group with a form builder so let me use a address form which is equivalent to your form group and let me create a private variable inside this private variable let me use something called as form builder and now let me create a form builder so 
inside this let me assign address form is equal to this dot form builder dot group let me create a group and if you want to know about form builders form groups you can watch my reactive forms series so that you will get all understanding about the form group form builder and also form controls so let me create name which is something like a empty by default and also let me use a phone which is empty by default and then let me use another group something like address so inside this address let me create a group again form builder dot group where this group contains two fields again what are they the first one is street name which is again an empty string and also let me use a road number so let me use empty I'm considering all these controls are string type let me save this now what we can do is I can inject this address form inside your HTML let me go to the HTML and inside this let me use a form group and inside this form group let me paste that address form so now this form group is having an address form with the form controls let me use form control name and this form control name is equal to name so let me paste here and also let me give one more form control name is equal to phone number till here it's absolutely fine but the problem comes in is what about this address street name and road number which are already exist in my child component in general what we can do is we can create a input decorator and we can pass whole this address via that input decorator to my child component and access them so this is what we'll do but for example let me consider you have some set of child components which are handling different types of forms and all are engaged together and they are passed from my parent component so in that case for every component we need to create an input decorator so that is bit complex I can say that we can do even in that way but that is not an appropriate and not an efficient way so now what we will do is we'll try to not create any input decorators and we'll try to access this address form inside my child component how we can do that before doing that let me create this form group as a separate method so get address form group and which is of type form group and which is of type any and then let me return my whole form group like this and also I can make it as as form group so I can call this get form group here this dot get form group so now I got the address form group and also at the same time I'll try to pass this address form group to my child component how we can pass is I can pass something like form group name and for this form group name let me pass this method and save this and also save this now we are getting something like a problem you can see here get address form group no schema and ng model of this component so what it is saying is the app child is a web component then add it to the child component so what i'm saying go to your app.module.ts and let me add a reactive forms module and save this now let me go to the child component and fix it so child component is not accessible for this string and stuff so what i'll do is just go to your child.component.ts and inside this let me use a service something called as private control container colon control container which is coming from angular forms and go to your html file inside this and try to access our values so i can use something like ng container and uh, then let me use a form group name and for this I'll try to pass my control container dot control control container dot control and let me save this and also save this so what it is telling control container is getting failed why it is getting failed let's see that property control container is private so I have used a private variable so let me change into public variable something like public so that it can be accessible on your HTML and now we are getting one more error type abstract control any any is not accessible to the type of string number null so that means we are passing some control container but we are not telling whether it is a group or not so let me use get 
control group and let me use something like a form group which is accessing any and let me return this dot control container dot control as form group so I'm just typecasting so that this form control will be converted into a form group and I'll try to use them in my HTML directly instead of accessing the service so let me save this and you can see something is getting failed so here it is saying that type form group is not assignable because this is not a form group name it is something related to the our form group so let me use this form group and now let me save this and also it is saying something like form group name so let me go here into our app.component.html and instead of name let me pass it as form group and save this so now everything has been passed and on submission of this button so it has to show my whole form details without any output decorator but before that there is something called as get control group which is returning a form control and this is something like which we are passing from our parent that is nothing but a get address form group and this is passed from our app.component.html with the controls as street name so let me go to the html file and let me use a form control name as street name and also let me go here back to app component and pass this road number control to my road number form control name and pass it save this so let me make it sequence so now your ts will pass this group into your html and it will accept this form group so we didn't created this form group input decorator in my child component if you see here that can be accessible directly by using a control container it may contain a group it may contain an array it may contain an control so that's why what I am telling is whatever the control I am receiving from the control container that is nothing but a form group so I am telling that it is a form group so that this form group can be directly used in your child component and this ng container will be holded here so that our form group controls can be passed onto these controls and whenever we change the values in the child component because of this control container it will change the values in my app.component.ts that is nothing but a address form and whenever the user submits this let me use a console console.logoff this dot address form dot value this value should contain all the values which are in the parent and also the values which are entered in my child component automatically without using any input decorator and output decorator let me quickly jump into the browser and now let me inspect this and see whether we have any errors no errors and now let me enter some values Sai Kumar and one two three something like this and let me use a street name name one two three four five six or Sai Kumar so it is not able to type so why it is not able to type let's find that and we are trying to assign a form group in a form group inside a form group which is having this get address form group so what I want to do is I just don't want to do all this stuff here instead what I'll do is just I'll go here I'll use get address form group for child and now let me use a method and inside this method let me use form group and which is of any type and now let me return the value from our original form group that is address form dot get of address which is something as form group so instead of passing this get address form group I'll use this one get address form group for child and pass here let me save here and go to the TES and save this so let me go back and now let me start typing here we are able to type some values and let me give sai one two three four five six seven and let me give street name as street name sample and now let me give road three and let me submit this 
and if you see here we got the address values which are in the child and the name property and also the phone number so that means so we have created our whole form in my parent and partial form group has been sent to your child and without using any input output decorator we are trying to access all the form values in my child and updating the values and sending back to your parent so they both are in sync so that the advantage of using this is instead of creating input decorators and output decorators if you want to communicate between parent and child and if you want to communicate via forms then it is the better approach to use control container so now to make it a revision on this particular sample example let me go back to the visual studio so here what we are doing is we are creating our address form and also I am creating one address which is returning the group of this address and that group I am passing to my child component that group controls can be accessed in my child component by using a control container and the control container dot control may contain a abstract control that means it may contain a group it may contain a control it may contain a form group or form array so that is the reason explicitly we are telling that it is not a control or an array it is a group so now the form will be treated as a group and it is trying to access this form group and the values or the content is passed in between this form controls will be updated in my parent component as well so that is where we can use control container hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you